Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra and I'm your host Harsh Agrawal. Have you ever thought how can you measure if the market is going up or going down? If you are planning to get accumulate certain coins or if you want to trade, charts are your best friends. And to do this technical analysis, you need a software which helps you to see the charts and help you add indicators and do a lot of crazy stuff to help you make a decision on that should you be going in right now or later. Now this is exactly what I'm going to talk about today and the tool that I'm talk going to talk about today is called TradingView. Now TradingView has been around for many years and it is one of the go-to tool for all the traders out there and if you have been trading for a while or if you are looking to get into trading or even investing you should get accustomed with TradingView.com because it will help you a lot. Now this is a beginner's guide for TradingView which will help you to showcase how you can start using TradingView. So without further delay, let's go ahead, let's learn everything about TradingView. All right. So the very first thing, once you're on the TradingView.com, you can create an account or you can work without an account. So let me show you first without creating an account how it works. Then I would show you how my setup looks like. Let's say you want to look at the BTC chart on Binance. So what you do is you type BTC in the search box and you type USDT. And then there are all the options here. Like you can select BTC, USDT, BTC, uh, perpetual contract on Bybit. So you can select the chart of your favorite exchange. So we'll do that within a minute. But before that, let's get accustomed with some of the things here. So you have screeners here. You can always click on ideas to see the ideas which are recommended by other chartists and other, other traders. If that's something interests you, you can always, you know, refer to other people ideas. And then you can always find a lot of scripts that you can use on TradingView. Some of the scripts are pre-built. Some of the scripts are offered by individual who have created a new script that you can use on your chart. Now, if this is your first time, it may sound a little overwhelming, but that's okay because as we move ahead, it would all start making sense. Then on the right side, we have market summary where we can select, let's say currency, we can select crypto and we can see some of the data like, you know, total market cap of the crypto market, uh, market, uh, the price of BTC USD, ETH USD price and so on. You can use this trading view for your stocks, for your cryptocurrencies. It also shows you the latest news, uh, important news from the different platform, which will help you to stay ahead uh, from the from the crowd. Now let's go back to our first example. So let's type BTC USDT and let's look at the chart. So we select the BTC USDT on Binance. And this is how the chart looks like. Now this is the bottom one is the volume. At the right here, you can see the price action. And there is also watch list, which is very important if you are trading on a regular basis or if you are, you know, watching three or four or maybe 30 or 40 different instrument, you can use watch list to configure that. How to do that, I would show you in a brief moment. Then you can take, take a snapshot if you like, and you can share the snapshot with your friends if you want to do that. Uh, you can some, make some changes by clicking on settings like you know how your symbols should be shown the colors if you want to change or uh, customize the color but let's change this to candles since we are using crypto we'll use Heki Nashi candles and this is how it looks like then we can add any any indicator if we like so let's say we can add RSI indicator which is one of my favorite indicator relative strength index it helps you to see the you know if the market is in over overbought or oversold area now at the same time you can change the timestamp like right now it is on the daily time frame you can change the timestamp from one day to let's say four hours and it would show you a different picture altogether you can always mark them as favorites like whatever you want to add see refer occasionally then you can mark them as favorite and then at the top, you can just click on this to change the time frame. Now, if you want to move to any other uh, currency, let's say ETH USDT, you can click on this and then you can select ETH USDT. Let's use Binance or yeah, let's use Binance. And here, here we are. We are on the daily chart of ETH USDT, which looks quite ready to rock and roll at this moment. But anyways, 
uh, we're not getting into that and on the left side you have a lot of stuff like you can create line you can you know you can create a support and resistance line you can also measure the candle if that's what you needed to do so this one is about daily candle is 10 percent weak so if you change it to four hours and uh, let's measure this it's about 8.89 percent and this is very useful if you are into grid bot trading or you know you're into advanced charting this is going to be very helpful so you can you can do all this and yeah there are a lot of stuff on the left side that you want to explore as you're moving ahead right Th these are some of the settings now you can click on this and you can enable the dark color theme which is something which is what i use but that's not all the most important part is you can download you can download the trading view desktop app which is available for windows and ios you can also use trading view app on your android phone or also on your uh, iphone or on your app ipad and it makes your life too so easier if you are using a multi-screen you can also still use trading view to to use the multi-screen feature of your you know your setup so let me show you my setup on trading view desktop app so this is what my app looks like now what's interesting here is the watch list so i have so if you want to add anything in the watch list you can create multiple list if you like uh let's say i have a list for indian stocks and i have another list for uh for my crypto stocks so let's say if i have to change to anything i can change it now if there is any particular stock that i'm watching for a particular reason i can label them with different color like you know blue or red so let's say i have a red list here and i can just i can just select them and do all this magic now i'm using a custom integrator for myself which i'll be talking about in the days to come and how it is helping me to make you know really good uh money in the stock in the crypto trading but for that that will come back to later now this is what you can do with your trading view there are a few other things which i want to show you so they, they also have technical so you can change the time frame and the technicals would change uh here so you can click on more technicals and it would show you uh, the data based on technical that is it a buy time is it a sell time now again you should understand that this is this all are just based on indicators so they are not going to be 100 percent accurate but you can at least it would give you an edge when you are getting into a trade or when you want to accumulate any particular currency rather than just buying out right away you can use uh, take the help of trading view all this indicator and determine if this is something you want to do so pretty much that's all about trading view i know it's a short video but that's all you needed this small nudge is what you needed to get started and here that's exactly what i'm offering you today so go ahead download trading view you can create a free account they also have a premium version and one very important thing so if you're using multiple screen you know you can use something like this to run multiple screen if you have a bigger screen you can actually have like eight charts in on one screen or maybe like multiple charts so i need to get a bigger monitor i'm actually using a 27 inch mac still it's asking me to get a you know bigger monitor for multiple chart so anyways we'll go back to single chart and uh, i highly recommend you to start adding your choice of currency in the watch list so once you go to the watch list let's say this is my watch list uh, just a second you can click on plus icon at here and then you can select the coin that you want to add so let's say if i want to add away on from binance i can simply click on plus and it's added now if i want to remove it i can always click on x to remove it now this makes your life so much easier you can always sort them based on the changes in last few hours or 24 hours i'm not sure if it if it is for few hours or multiple hours but that's something you can check what another cool thing that you can do is you can set al alerts different alerts price alerts they also have option for paper trading and i made a video about paper trading on trading view earlier i'll leave the link of that video and article in the description so you can explore that also they also have a lot of other features on the right side that you should definitely explore now again i'm just getting started and something i'm still exploring so maybe i'll do an advanced video with the different tips and tricks talking about tips and tricks here is one very cool thing 
So let's say if you are playing with chart a lot and you want to go back to the initial stage, you can right click and click on reset chart. At the same time, you can always left click and type, let's say 240 and it would show you or let's say type 60 it would show you it would directly take you to one hourly chart like it's you have, you can actually put add input in in min, in minutes term so let's say again add let's say 240 and again we are back to four hourly chart so that's how you go about using trading view you can always add an indicator by clicking on clicking on fx icon indicator and strategies here you can select the indicator that you want to add or you can always add certain indicator as your favorite now right now i'm using this one wu manchu cipher a and wu manchu cipher b divergence which is a really powerful indicator in my opinion um, then you can always set alert if you like you can see all your alert by clicking on here like i have one alert which is active you can always change your candle types uh, by by using this so you can have bars you can have candles since i'm using crypto i'm using heiki nashi and yeah guys pretty much that's all you need to know to get started go go ahead sign up for trading view you can find the link in the description download their desktop app and you know start spending a little time on this if you're tr planning to take crypto trading or investing as a serious uh, passive income source or active income source this is going to be really helpful well that's all for today guys and if you have any question or if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section below i would see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh